and welcome back to FSX with FOX and welcome back to FSX with FS Passengers. As you can see, we have upgraded our plane once again. This is an ERJ-175 in Northwest Airlines Air Link livery. Um, Northwest Airlines, uh, the their Air Link service was supposed to compete with Delta Connection, I believe. It was very short-lived, or it was supposed to compete with JetBlue. One of those two, I'm not really sure which. Um, but of course, they have been absorbed by Delta, I believe. Um, and so Northwest Airlines is actually no longer a thing. But we are here at uh, Princess Juliana Airport. This is the Fly Tampa scenery. Now you guys have seen all the scenery that I have. You've seen Mega Scenery Access Hawaii, um, or Oahu. Uh, you've seen Fly Tampa Boston, uh, FS Dream Team's uh, New York, JFK, and now Fly Tampa's um, St. Martin. I do have the other three islands, or other two islands as well, but we won't be seeing those today. Anyway, um, I just thought I should let you know right off the bat that uh, this plane is not as well integrated with MCE as the 145 was, so uh, I have to write a lot of the scripts myself, and until I have the bugs worked out, I'm not going to show them on camera, so I'm just going to be using MCE for checklists and uh, for handling the radios. Otherwise, we are going to be doing everything, uh, all the flows and everything manually. So, let's jump into the cockpit here. All right, we do have ground power available, so let's go ahead. Oh, unit, okay. Oh, good lord, that's right. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. We, this is, uh, it is not morning, it is evening. We are taking an evening flight from Princess Juliana up to Miami. So this is almost like a red-eye flight, but not really. Okay, now let's pop up the... FMS here, navigation, position initialization. The FMS is very similar to the 145s. Well, they're both put out by feel there, so kind of makes sense. All right, performance initialization. Okay, our fuel reserve. We, dang it, I always hit the wrong button there. We want an hour of reserve fuel. Our zero fuel weights. I wrote this down somewhere. Where is it? Oh, hold on, real quick. Simon request catering. Consider it done. Yeah, we're not in the U.S., so we have a new catering assistant. CC from ramp. Go ahead. We are requesting catering van. There we go. That is our. Uh, FMS initialized. However, we need to manually put in our speeds. I've already calculated these using the manual and their uh, reference table. So our V1 is going to be 145, our rotate is going to be 152, and our V2 is 154. Our VFS, which is our climb speed with one engine, I believe is what that is. It's 200, and we should be good. Power up checklist. Power up checklist. Battery one. On. Battery two. Auto. Battery voltage. Checked. Ground power unit. Set. Fire extinguisher panel. Checked. Emergency lights. Armed. APU selector knob off. Nav lights on. Logo lights on. Hydraulic panel checked. Electronic CB checked. Catering van, be patient, I trust it's coming. DVDR panel checked. Answer. I expect to hear checked. Power up checklist complete. Alright, now last few times I've tried this, the doors on this aircraft have been a bit buggy. I think that's just an FSX thing. I don't think it's related to the add-on. Uh, so yeah, and it's only happened at Denver Airport with me, so hopefully... 
Oh, hey, it's working. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. All right. So what's next? We've got our power. Let's do the... Let's talk with ATC, actually. Now, you might notice that the interior of this plane is not as nice as the 145. In particular, the autopilot panel is 2D, which kind of irritates me. But other than that... Everything's hunky dory, though I should probably find what the heck is steroids. I don't know. There, the, there we don't go. That didn't do anything. I was hoping that would give us some more light in here, but yeah. Um. All right, whatever. Let's just uh. First, let's get centered here. There we go, that's a better view. Unfortunately, you can't make this thing go away. Alright, let's see, FMS. 130.0, decimal zero, com one. Uh, roger that, com one. One, three, zero, decimal zero. Radio one, set to ground. Juliana Clearance, Alpha Sierra Bravo, ready to copy IFR clearance. Uh oh. Speech Why recognition, does it dialogue do this? mode. Speech recognition, flight mode. Alpha Sierra Bravo 76, cleared to Miami as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 10,000. Departure on 128, decimal 5, squawk 4415. I read that too fast. Cleared to Miami as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain 10,000. Departure on 128, decimal 95, squawk 4415. Alright, so we need 10,000. Simon, request boarding. Hey everyone, sorry about that cut there, but um, we had one of those lovely FSX crashes. Have a nice journey, see you later. That, uh, that occurs sometimes. Now it looks like my mouse isn't working again. Can I please click things? Please tell me I can... Okay, I can click things. I just... What happened to the FS Passengers menu? Why is my FS Passengers menu not up? There we go. Okay, that scared me for a second. But... Everything is as it was. We are getting ready to go. Uh, boarding has started, as you can hear from the noise behind me. We have our departure clearance. And, uh, yeah. See, I really wish these cockpit lights would work. the dome light doesn't work. Man, I haven't filmed this at night yet, so I haven't, I don't know. That's really irritating. Anyway, let's, uh, flip on the red beacon and start the APU.
pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist, please. Flight checklist. Pressurization panel. Checked. Oxygen masks. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Thrust levers. Set. Check that item again, yeah? Idle. Say it again, please. Idle. Affirmative. Okay. Answer. It's supposed to be idle parking brake. On. Flight checklist complete. Whoa, it's like someone flicked a switch. Thank you for the light. Whoever did that. Yes, GSX. I can't close exit one right now because, you know, I've still got people boarding. Thank you for your concern, though, that I might leave with the door still open. Nope. Wait, what? Oh, they closed automatically. Do I have any warnings in here? Besides the APU, no, so everything's normal. Let's contact ground. Juliana Ground, Alpha Sierra Bravo 76, request taxi for takeoff. Alpha Sierra Bravo 76 to Juliana Ground, request taxi for takeoff, IFR departure. Juliana Ground, Alpha Sierra Bravo 76, request taxi for IFR departure. You have the radio. We'll take care of the communication radio. Request taxi clearance. Yep, I'll do. Embraer, request taxi. Clear for taxi. Embraer. Aboard this flight, we hope you enjoy flying with us. Before takeoff, we would like to encourage all passengers to watch our cabin crew to play the safety features of the aircraft. Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Trim panel. Checked. MCDU. Checked. Fuel Ladies quantity. And pay and we Passenger the signs. On. Doors and windows. Locked. Flight deck door. Locked. Drop the cabin pressure. Red beacon. On. Hydraulic pump. On. Overhead panel. Check. Before start. Checklist complete. Cockpit to ground. Hi, Captain. How can I be of any help? Mechanic request pushback tail, right? Pay attention, uh, the exit doors are not closed yet, Skipper. Cockpit to ground. How can I be of any help, Commander? Mechanic request ground tail. Electrical wow. power has been established. Cockpit to ground. What can I do for you? Mechanic request pushback tail right. Yep, Captain. Tow bar is in place. Uh, gear pins have been removed and uh, we're standing by for instructions. Ground power unit is still connected. Just give us some time to remove it. Holy moly, I got It so won't be long before the push truck is in place. I'll hang around till you tell me to disconnect, boss. Okay, about to disconnect. I wish you a pleasant flight, boss. Hello, 
Starter engaged, engine 1. Start valve open, engine 1, N2. The textures don't really look all that great, do they? Starter cutout, engine 1. I installed it with like all the options. As you can see by the flying birds and everything. Start engine two. Uh, Roger, start switch engaged. Engine two. Start valve open. Engine two. N two. Fuel flow, engine 2, starter cutout, engine 2. After start, checklist. After start, checklist. Flaps. Set. Flight controls. Set parking brakes. Like us. Checked. Clearance. Received. After start, checklist complete. Bypass 
taxi light on. Okay, taxi lights selected on. I totally thought the tow truck was going to ram us for a second. Left is clear. Right is clear. get this show on the road. Flying from one paradise to one slightly less paradise. Can't even see the taxi line. I'm really disappointed with the ground textures with this airport, I'm not gonna lie. Like, really very disappointed. Maybe I need to reinstall uh, Rex for Texture Direct over it. We're almost at the holding point, I think. Yeah, that's the holding point right there. Is that the holding point? I can't even tell. I don't think so. Actually. Oh no, it's not. at heading 095. Selecting heading 095. Done. I'm also not certain how to set the takeoff go around mode in this plane. So yeah, there's that. Before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist. Takeoff configuration. Takeoff OK. Checked. Right temperature. Checked. My gas. Checked. Landing lights. On. Strobe lights. On. Transponder. Set. Before takeoff checklist complete. 118.7, COM1. COM1. 118.7. Request takeoff clearance. Yep. Flight attendants prepare for takeoff. Tower Embraer would like takeoff clearance. Ready at the back for takeoff, Captain. Cleared for takeoff, Embraer. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Now this is, by my estimates, going to be about a three hour flight, so obviously you guys will not be with me for that entire time.
that's kind of scary. I'm flying towards a mountain that I can't really see. Oh crud, I forgot to tell my co pilot to take off speeds. Oh well, I'll just have to watch the tape. Okay, quiet concentration. Back. 18 knots. Checked. One. Rotate. V2, positive climb. Gear up. Okay, gear coming up. Contact. Five hundred. Departure. Embraer. Salon. Gear up and locked. Dial in. One two eight decimal nine five. All right. There's the autopilot. Weird the mountain. <laughs> Departure. Embraer. On frequency. And this plane does have auto throttle too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quite a little change, quite a little change. That's what I meant to hit. I think I hit FPA. Okay, altitude or heading assigned. Heading 240. Heading 240. Uh, Roger, setting. Heading 240 was preset. Indeed, Captain. Uh, copy, Embraer. Yeah, so even though your co pilot's technically handling the radio for you, it's still a good idea to you know, keep an eye on it. Okay, altitude or heading? Heading 280. Uh, copy, Embraer, cheers. But of course we're going to ignore FSX ATC and kind of do our own thing because what do they know? We'll get ourselves on course. Next frequency. Takeoff, I love sunset. Please Center Embraer, take care. Dial in one two eight decimal six five. <laughs> Done. Center. Good evening, Embraer. Has cleared. Level 180, Embraer. Alright, and there's our navigation capture. Right. Plane 
what are you doing? Plane stop. <laughs> Oh, I guess he made sure to actually hit the navigation point. Silly plane. Oh, the guys in the back are getting a fun ride. Hey, that's where we were. Bye, St. Martin. Hey guys, we just went, we just departed from the Netherlands. Technically, depending on how you look at it. So there you go, we were technically in Europe. For all you guys that have been wanting me to go to Europe. I know that wasn't really Europe. But it's owned by the by the Dutch government. For all my Dutch friends out there. We are already almost at our cruising altitude. This plane climbs like a rocket compared to the 145. I love it. But, as you can see, we have quite a long ways. This circle here is 500 miles. We have like 1,000 miles, 1,000 nautical miles to fly. Let's see, let's go ahead and serve, bring some food. We are starting to serve hot food. Please extend your tray table and lift your seat to the upright position. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now serving drinks. Alpha Sierra, climb and maintain flight level, Skip on the side, heading on altitude. Flight level 260. Sure, cheers. Affirmative, climb flight level 260, Embraer. And now if our co-pilot co -pilot is as competent as he would like us to believe, we will, I will not have to speak again until it is time for descent. So we've got everything going. Climbing to our cruising altitude. We can flip off the landing lights. 8,000 feet ago. APU is off. Did we ever do the after landing checklist? Or after takeoff? After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Flaps. Up. Up. Landed gear. Up. Set. Should be up pressurization. Checked. After takeoff, checklist complete. Weird how it didn't recognize up. Let's go ahead and start the in-flight movie. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just started the in-flight movie displaying on the screen ahead. You will find a set of headphones to your left. You can adjust the language and volume on the dials next to your speak. We'll make sure we give them something extremely boring, like, um, I don't know. It's just a video of Morgan Freeman sitting there reading, uh, The Awakening by Kate Chopin. So, there you go. That'll put all of our passengers right to sleep for this, uh, for this flight, so it, I think it's time for you guys to go to sleep too, so I'll see you when the turbulence right before the sun wakes you up. It's well and truly night time, and uh, if you look at our ATC window, you'll see we've been told to uh, start our initial descent down to 14,000 feet. 
And if you're also looking at the FS passengers window, you can see that the crew is serving drinks and sandwiches, which I did entirely on accident. I meant to click down here to drag the box around and I accidentally hit the drink button. And then uh, since we were already doing drinks, I figured we might as well do sandwiches. So my prediction is they are not going to get finished serving. They're going to be interrupted by the landing. Then we are going to get minus pilot points for that after two hours and 37 minutes in the air so far without time acceleration. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back into it. Flight attendants prepare for descent. Okay, side heading around the tube. Flight level 140. Cheers. Copying descent. 14,000 Embraer. Expect ILS approach. Embraer. Before start, checklist. Okay, altitude or heading assigned, trim panel. Cancel checklist. Heading 295. Cheers. Heading 295, Embraer. Cancel checklist. Okay, sorry, didn't get that. Shall I discard the checklist? Affirmative. Cheers. Checklist reading is cancelled, Captain. Pass transition level. We are descending to our destination. Please fasten your seatbelts and make sure all portable electronic devices are securely Auto stowed break. so that we may secure the cabin for arrival. Medium. Landing. Data. Enter. Altimeters. Set. Descent. Checklist complete. 111.7. Nav 1. Nav 1. 1.7. One, one, Boss, altitude or heading assigned? Heading 270. Uh, Roger, many thanks. Uh, Walker, heading 270, Embraer. Track 305. Set in track 305. Done. Heading 270, Embraer. 111 decimal Contact center, Embraer. Goodbye. Affirmative VOR 2 is set to 111.7. Dial in 123 decimal 775. 1000 to go. Center. Good day, Embraer. Crossing 14,400 yeah, percent. 14,000. Sandwiches, but they won't get them. Dang it. Alpha Sierra, Bravo 76, Miami Center, 
Okay, altitude or heading? Heading 330. Heading. Good. Heading 330. Heading 330. Copy, Embraer. Selecting, heading 330. It's ready for you, Captain. Heading or altitude? Altitude 2000. Cheers. Uh, copy, descent 2000, Embraer. Approach checklist. Alpha Sierra, Volvo 76, turn left, heading to a signer 5. Okay, altitude or heading? Descent, 2000, Embraer, cheers. Approach checklist. Approach checklist. Passenger signs. On. Landed lights. On. Altimeters. Set. Approach checklist complete. About to cross 10,000. actually get down with the drinks, that's why I messed with the vertical speed there. I'm going to slow down the descent. If we get below 5,000 feet, then it will stop serving. Oh, and in case you guys weren't aware, Infinite Lives is back. So make sure you check out his channel again. The link is in the sidebar of my channel. Always has been. I think. Well, if it wasn't there before, it's there now. So, check it out. He's doing uh, a little bit of FSX, and uh, he's doing a new series based off of a free-to-play game called The Hunter. So make sure you check it out. 
Here we go, that's our services completed. Getting pretty close here as well. Flaps one. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps one selected. With. Approach, Embraer, take care. Dial in one one eight decimal one. Approach Embraer crossing fifty eight hundred descending two thousand. Flight attendants prepare for landing. Yes, we are ready at the back for landing, Commander. Sorry I'm not very talkative at the moment, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm tired. It's one in the morning for me. And I've been flying since... After a full day at work, too. I have tomorrow off. Stuff recorded then, too. I did since three earlier. So we'll probably do some farming soon tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, by the way. 2500. Okay, side heading or altitude? Heading 330. Sure, I appreciate that. Uh, Roger, heading 330, Embraer. Altitude or heading assigned? Heading 215. Got it, many thanks. Affirmative, heading 215, Embraer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to land. Please notice the cabin lights have been turned off. 
as this is the normal procedure for a nighttime landing. I do really like this plane, despite the virtual cockpit not being very good. It does have an auto land, but will not be utilizing that today. It will be a standard ILS approach with um, manual landing. Active runway is three zero thirty. Uh, Roger, contact. Approach, Embraer, bye bye. Dial in one two zero decimal five. Approach Embraer with you. Uh, we had our voting last episode in the comments section, and you guys decided our next plane after this one will be the PNDG 737. So, uh, that'll be cool, which means I need to start learning how to fly it now. <laughs> From what I've been able to see though from videos and stuff, MCE works pretty well with the 737 bug, so I probably won't get FS to crew, I'll probably keep using MCE. I don't know, I'll have to check it, I'll have to try it out on my own and uh, gauge just how effective MCE is. If it's not as effective as I would like, then we'll probably spring for FS to crew. Cleared ILS approach. Embraer. Dial in one one eight point three. Done. Tower. Good day. Embraer on frequency.
Affirmative. Continue approach. Embryo. Gear down. Gear down. Gear speed. Check. Move it down. Gear down and locked. Before landing checklist. Before landing checklist. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. Set. Before landing checklist complete. Approaching minimums, minimums, minimums. Don't worry, we're not really at minimums. That was just me messing with uh, the parametric minimum setting. Localizer alive, glide slope alive. Throttle. Localizer alive. Glide slope alive. Glide slope capture. Alpha Sierra, Alpha 7, clear to land, runway 3, Copy, landing runway 30, Embraer.
Hey, there's no traffic around crushing us. That's a first. One thousand feet above the ground. One thousand. Five hundred feet. Four hundred. Landing. Approaching, Approaching minimums. Minimums. Landing. Autopilot. Autopilot. Minimums. 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 One hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Fifty. Forty. Forty. Thirty. Thirty. Twenty. Twenty. Ten. Ten. Reverse thrust deployed. Brakes active. Seventeen knots. Auto break. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our My radio. Understood. From now on, I'm going to go to the I hope your flight was a pleasant one, and I look forward to seeing you again. One two one decimal eight alpha zero Bravo seven six. Well, I think that was definitely one of my better landings on camera. <laughs> oh, that was rather nice, if I do say so myself. Maybe just a little too far down the right end, but it's not a big deal. 12.1.8, com 1. Com 1. 1, 2, 1. Point 8. After landing checklist. VHF going to ground after landing checklist. Flaps. Up. Set. Is the item really as you stated? Say it again, please. Up. Set. I expect to hear up taxi light. On. Landing lights. Off. Strobe light. Off. Transponder. Standby. Transponder, standby. Now set APU. On. APU. Now set starter on after landing checklist complete. Miami ground Alpha Sierra Bravo 76 request taxi to the gate.
taxi to gate hotel 15 via Zulu Quebec taxi Papa Alpha Sierra guys it's a taxi oh my goodness I am tired Yeah, let me guys know if you want me to record my sessions with uh, learning the PMPG 737 or if you just want me to do that completely off camera. Because I'm planning on like getting behind it, like, you know, starting with like flying some touch and go circuits, um, you know, learning the FMS. I have the, um, the airline training for the Dash 8, and I want to use some of the methods that I learned from uh, that training program of the MPG 737. I mean, obviously not all of the methods are applicable, but some of what they did, like the, the touch and go flights for training, um, some of the short haul flights, I wouldn't be using that as passengers for those training flights, it would just be me, I, w I probably wouldn't even use it to just would literally be me in the line. So let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. Here's our gate. Shutdown engine one. Shutdown engine one. Okay, could you please confirm that? Engine shut down. What could I do alone shutting down the engine? Right. Shutdown engine two. Yep, okay, could you please confirm? Engine shut down. Affirmative. Right, shutting down the engine two. 
contact with the ground. Welcome back, gents. I'm Jim, the guy responsible for ground services. Jim, your airline ramp agent to assist you. Feel free to request ground services. Welcome again, Captain. At your service. Jim, request the boarding. Of course, they're not going to send a passenger bus either because for some reason they think that there is a gate here, you know, like a terminal, or not a terminal, jetway. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and call that boarding completed. The, it, the passengers are probably doing something similar to uh, what they did in... Uh, World War Z, I think, you know, when all the zombies were piling up to get over the wall, except they're just piling up and then they'll just walk down the ramp of other passengers. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and end the... Speech recognition, dialogue mode. Look at that. A kiss. A landing touchdown kiss. That's pretty dang good, I think. Exceptional flight. We're highly entertained by the movie. Whoa, I don't want to print. We're in a better mood because they had food. Awesome. Almost two million dollars out of that. I'm fine with that. Let's see. Ticket income, 44. Yeah, yeah. Service income. Awesome. Our service income was more than our service cost. Perfect. All right. Should be 100%. Company reputation is now essentially 100%. So that's pretty sweet. Pilot points, 383. A very smooth landing, perfect flight, no problems, very satisfied passengers, 150, landed at the scheduled airport, another 30, and a long flight without using time acceleration, no problems, and satisfied passengers. I will record that flight. Congratulations! Woohoo! to master first officer. If that was a real thing. <laughs> Speech recognition, flight mode. We are one step closer to those huge jets. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Until next time, I'm A Shadowbox. This has been Flight Simulator 10 using FS Passengers. Have a good one.